Hello, this is Matt from Tracy and Matt.co.uk and from unboxings.com. And here we have the Nokia X3. Gonna have a quick look inside, see what's in the box, and then take a look at the handset itself. As you can see handset immediately on top, and uh, we'll come back to that in a second. The X3 is in a similar sort of uh, fashion to the X6, um, that sort of range. Um, we have the charger, and it's got the small Nokia style connector. And then there is the manual, which is uh, exclusively in black and white. There's a small CD with software on it, it's an 8 centimeter CD. There's an adapter for, well it's actually standard USB on one end and micro, micro USB on the other. And so you can actually sync and copy files to and from your handset. It's a headset. It's a wired headset, so it has a four pole, three and a half mil jack on one end, length of cable, then an inline push button and microphone, two push buttons there, I believe, and a little clip so you can clip it onto clothing, and then the actual headphones themselves, which are pretty good. They're de fairly decent headphones. I've used these on other Nokia models, and they're pretty decent. So if you want to use a headset, um, you don't really compromise too much, but I guess most people use their favourite headphones rather than the ones supplied. And then there's a little bit of information about getting started and uh, sort of how to put your battery in, that kind of stuff. That's all that we actually have in the box. So we'll have a look at the handset itself. So this, as I say, is the Nokia X3. We've got a 2.2 inch display on the front, uh, not ever so, ever so large, obviously. Uh, but it's 240 by 320 pixels, as you can see there, it's... Um, just quite quite small in the middle of uh, the front there. Loudspeaker on the front and uh, standard sort of uh, controls underneath. So you have uh, soft keys on either side. There's a D-pad there and then we have phone keys on either side too. That one doubling up was the power button. Then we have media controls. So you sort of turn it around this way and under the screen in the landscape orientation we have a series of media controls. So you have uh, play and pause and then you skip tracks backwards and forwards. Uh, pretty cool. On the top, this is where we plug in the charger. And then on the other side, the 3.5mm headphone connector. As I say, you can use the wired headset that comes with it, or uh, your own 3.5mm headphones. In the middle, there's a cover for the micro USB sync connector. So we can actually transfer the music to and from the handset. Then on the right hand side, we have a dedicated camera button and up and down volume control. Nothing really to speak of on the bottom and on the left hand side we have a cover over a socket in which we have a micro SD card. We'll support up to SDHC memory, well we'll support SDHC memory cards up to uh, 16 gig according to the specification. It does come with the 2 gig though. The other thing about the Nokia is that it does uh, have the sliding keypad so we have a 12 key keypad underneath for texting and stuff like that. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, slides quite well, although this one's a bit loose. This is a PR model. I think it's been out to a few other people already. Uh, well, it has definitely. It's been a little bit battered, a little bit knocked about. And the screen isn't perfect. So it's obviously a PR model that's uh, been uh, doing the rounds. So uh, let me just run down the specification while we power up. As I say, 2.2 inch display, pretty small, quarter VGA. On the back, I did miss out, is the fact that we've got a 3.2 megapixel autofocus camera, but there's no flash. And uh, also the back cover just pops off like so to reveal the battery. And underneath the battery, we do have the SIM card socket. And we'll just pop the cover back on. That's fairly easy. Uh, do support video recording, uh, 15 frames a second though, and that's only in QCIF. Um, so quite small video recording. Uh, FM radio is built in. We've got uh, access to the Nokia Music Store and polyphonic ringtones and mp3 ringtones and that kind of stuff. Um, dimensions, 96mm from top to bottom, just under 50mm wide and just over 14mm thick. It doesn't weigh a great deal, 103 grams isn't bad at all. Uh, the capacity of the battery is 860mAh, which is kind of low, but apparently the music playback time is up to 24 hours, so I guess that's not too bad. Uh, 70 meg of internal memory, that's why you need to use that memory card that's uh, supplied. Um, otherwise you're not going to get very far. So let's just go through this. It has just powered itself back off. So I'll probably still move the back cover. Yep, 
And I will start up without a SIM card. Familiar Nokia tone as we start up. Okay, and as you can see, this display actually is quite nice because uh, it does match the red of the um, handset itself. So actually, they've uh, sort of customised that a little bit. That's pretty decent. Um, many people really are going to recognise the display. It's obviously a Symbian operating system, so the menu structure is uh, going to be familiar to anyone that's used uh, the Nokia devices before. So initially, we have some shortcuts along the top: uh, media player, radio, OV store, and email. Uh, we can also go to other items here, so we've got profiles, media player, radio, alarm clock and so on and then if we push the button in the middle we get the full menu as I say again this is pretty familiar to most people that have used Nokia's in the past which I guess is uh, part of the appeal of using handsets like uh, like those from Nokia because you can upgrade the handset but you're still actually going to have the familiarity of actually operating it so that's I guess that's kind of useful um, so this is all, all your menu items for media, radio and also there's apps in here and we have uh, App Store or memory card in games, OV Store, so you can obviously download more. And on the memory card, we've got things like cities and extras and images. I think that really relates to um, the OV maps more than anything else. So uh, we've got Messenger, Flickr, My Nokia, Opera Mini, and a few other bits already pre installed, which is pretty cool. We'll just come back out of there for now. We've got the FM radio, which actually is working. There you go, as you can hear there. Oops, we actually have to go and turn the radio off. But the radio does work without headphones plugged in, which is fairly unusual. Um, most require you to have the headphones plugged in because the headphones do actually form the antenna. Uh, under names, we would obviously have all our, our contacts and uh, various other things as we go through. You can add, change all these shortcuts and things like that. Media controls. Um, really come into their own. See when I press play now, because I last used the radio, so we go straight back to the radio. We can actually scan through our radio stations, although obviously I don't have any set up, um, but they would be your radio station favourites. You can see it's cycling through there, and we'll turn the radio back off. So that's just a very quick tour and unbox of the Nokia X3. We'll have a full review for you over the next couple of weeks. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter, twitter.com slash Tracy and Matt. And we'll have some more videos and reviews for you on tracyandmatt.co.uk very soon. But for now, thanks for watching. Bitdefender is dedicated to protecting people's digital lives, so working with unboxings.com to help preview and review the latest technology is a perfect fit.